Good morning and welcome to another day of riding up Thorncliffe Bank and vlogging. Uh, when this goes out I will have flown to Tenerife. Now I'm basically going there for a short little trip uh, just to kind of give myself a bit of a morale boost after what's well, been a couple of tough months. Got himself a Christmas tree. So yeah so going out to Tenerife for like just under a week just as a bit of a morale boost and kind of like a little birthday present to myself go to my own just gonna go ride every day get some good miles in the legs and just you know enjoy it really I really struggle in the winter I find it uh, really just demotivating riding out in the cold and in the rain and stuff but today it's a bit cloudy but it's all right um, got four hours to do I'm doing it on something a bit different though I'm on the mountain bike and many people will be like why are you riding a mountain bike on the road well the truth of it is is with like um, Atlas Mountains coming up there's a lot of hours spent riding a mountain bike and uh, right now just want to build up getting used to riding it again whether that's on road or off road I'm gonna be hitting some like gravel trails anyway on this route and just yeah trying to get the uh, used to riding on this bike again made a few changes which I'll run through in this video um, some people guessed them right on the Instagram post. A few of the people, there's a few bits that people missed. A little descent and uphill. But yeah, basically, I just want to get used to riding it again. I've not really ridden it that much recently, and uh, getting used to riding a mountain bike, which is a very different position, and doing it on some of these climbs around here, actually is pretty, pretty useful. There's a few things in it, like I ride a longer crank arm on the mountain bike compared to the road bike. That wasn't by choice, to be honest. It was by what was available when I built up the mountain bike. But you can kind of adjust that in your fit. I'll show you the bike in a bit and some bits which are a bit more beautiful than my face. this bike now because I think it's kind of interesting how I've set it up anyway um, hopefully you find it interesting as well so this is a Santa Cruz highball CC CC means it's a slightly lighter uh, carbon frame set now it's size medium which is I probably should be riding a large but uh, a medium was what I could get hold of to be honest there, there was it was that point where there was very little stock around I'm riding Fox 34 factory forks that I bought and I've been super, super impressed with them. Plus they're orange and orange is faster than red as far as I've said. The wheels are basically a prototype from Parkour's. We built them up with a Son Dynamo hub on the front, which you can see there. And then it's a DT Swiss hub on the rear. They're effectively the same rim as the outer rim. So super wide. Uh, hookless and they work great with the mountain bike tires so talking about the tires I've got racing ray racing ralph from schwalbe on super impressed fast rolling tire I, I 
think they're like some of the best mountain bike tires you can get to be honest with you and the naming is cool i really like they the racing ray racing graphs great cockpit this is a pro vibe i think discover stem 90 mil seat post is from level which is like santa cruz's own brand i think or lev level something like that um it's a dropper post super smooth the saddle is the pro stealth off-road i love this saddle i've got it on like pretty much all the bikes that i do lots of long rides on it basically has like a fill in here and it's a bit thicker and has this like rough edge to it got one of the garmin varia camera light doodars on the back just flashes away and tells you when there's any car coming which is really useful when you're using the garmin computer as well i think it works with the other brands as well but i'm not i'm not certain the what else we talk about so the the handlebars these are from hope they're just like a carbon bar a bit of a rise on them as you can see these little bar ends are basically from a company called vap they are for me because i've got bad hands and i struggle with grip and i've got nerve damage in this one they just help me hold on in different position same with the ergon grips i love these they're not a lot of people don't like them think they're quite ugly but i just they really help me having that extra bit of like squidge here so the group set is like a real mishmash of parts to be honest it was a case of what i could find to get hold of because i was building this up uh during you know peak pandemic time when it was just really hard to get hold of stuff so the bit sniffy so yeah it was a bit of a mishmash of stuff so the brakes are shimano slx brakes they've been really really good super impressed they're not their top end they're like mid-tier i guess in comparison to like road cycling they're probably like 105 level um they do a two pot and a four pot these are the two pot ones so the braking is i think is amazing on them but I imagine the four pot is insanely good shifting all is shimano xt dior xt um basically got the little shifter here underneath as you can see like that and then you've got an xt crank which is this guy which is running a 32 tooth chain ring on it and then the cassette is an xtr cassette which is massive and i think it, the biggest one is like a 52 same xt rear mech i've had this whole combination since you're working great i changed this from a 45 to a 52 recently i just wanted to make sure i had a really easy gear the rotors are the front one is like a 180 xtr rotor and the rear one is a, i think it's called a shimano 8600 which basically looks the same as the xtr one but doesn't have the black bits in it the big difference really that the reason why i had to use these particular rotors 180 on the front 160 on the rear is because they're the six bolt options because you need that for the dynamo hub and then the rear hub is the same it's a six bolt one um bottle cages they're nothing fancy they're just bontrager ones i really like side load water bottle cages and then i've got stacker bottles on there nice and clean the this cage mount is from tail thin it's basically like a cage mount it's a bottle opener at the bottom i don't know if you can see it or not but there's a bottle opener on that bit and this is where i've just put all of my like spares and tools and stuff in it and it's quite nice because it keeps it under the frame it bolts on so the the uh bottle boss is under there and then you strap the bag on power coming from garmin pedals dual sided really love these pedals they're great i've been super impressed with them and i think that covers it yeah i think the only thing i haven't actually mentioned is that the on the left hand side i've got the dropper post lever and the lockout for the forks but yeah i really enjoy riding this bike it's good fun and uh it's santa cruz so it's cool right let me know what you think of the setup drop it in the comments below all that sort of stuff i'm trying to get better at doing this youtube thing yeah <laughs> it's challenging but giving it my best so yeah let me know what you think and uh, i'm better carry on riding because i'm getting freezing cold up here at the moment <laughs>
bit of a slog, but it's basically an old train line. They closed it off. There's like cafes all along it, and they've just turned it into this great, like, gravelly trail for hiking and walking and dog walking, horse riding, all that kind of thing. In the summer, you see like loads of families on their bikes. It's really lovely. But now, I've got it to myself. I've been giving you the worst. So my mate Yorick, who lives in Amsterdam, he turned around to me and said, gravel cycling is just a gateway drug to mountain biking. I'd probably agree with him to be fair. It's like, you get to a point where there's only so much that a gravel bike could do. Like, unless you're super talented technically, um, then you probably are just, you're probably just making some silly risks and some silly moves and you get a bit sketchy. I know I've definitely been that person. And going on to a mountain bike has kind of like allowed me to do stuff that's a bit rougher, a bit more different and interesting. And I think at the end of the day, with cycling, like the important bit is just being able to do different things. We're seeing it at the pro side, riders like Wout Van Aert, Pidcock, Matthew van der Poel, uh, Marianne Voss, Kata Black of Us, uh, Finn van Empel, like there's loads of riders now who are multidisciplinary riders and like your motivation as well as just like skills and enjoyment, it makes so much sense to me. Also, is it a hardtail, just a flat bar gravel bike with suspension, really? <laughs> Anyway, I think there's a, definitely a need and a purpose for both. Ultimately, I think it's great that gravel bikes coming into the market has just opened up another opportunity for more people to get into cycling. Same with e-bikes. And this sort of resurgence in hardtails has also sort of allowed people from the roadside to be interested in mountain biking as well. Next thing you know, everyone will be on full sasses. <laughs> Maybe me as well. <laughs> So Chesterton done, riding on this like really slow 10k bit. It's quite lumpy climbing at the moment, but go past the UFO. I don't even know what it is, but I always think of it as the UFO. There it is, in the tree. There it is, PT's home. Anyway, from here there's like descent, climb, and then onto the High Peaks Trail. It's very similar to Tissington. And that loops back on to Tissington. And then it's the slog home. <laughs> Big day. A chilly one, but it's absolutely beautiful at the moment. Look at this, just insane. Very lucky to be able to call this home. very foggy you can't really see it in the camera but yeah it's got really really foggy we can see over there and uh cold anyway the total route's about 100k so on the way back definitely now most of the worst of climbing done yeah been a good day out hope you enjoyed this video hope it was somewhat interesting oh Mud. 
but yeah I'll keep plugging away and hopefully you keep watching have a lovely rest of your day